Hello everybody, my name is Ellis Walsh, and I am going to be hosting this brand new podcast called, um, uh, well, I don't exactly have a name for it, but there will be a name. Um, yeah, um, so, first, uh, I wanted to, first episode, I kind of wanted to do a story. Um, so, uh, I don't know if you've heard this story, probably haven't. It's the story of Peter Cottontail and how he became the Easter Bunny. So, uh, Peter Cottontail was one of those bunnies who had rosy cheeks and a twinkle in his eye. And, you know, won all of those candy bar fundraisers for the Junior Woodchucks. You know, um, yeah. So, one, um, this is the story about Peter Cottontail. And how he came, became from those that rosy-cheeked little boy to the Easter Bunny. So, Peter Cottontail was one day walking along, hop, hippity-hoppity, uh, and he came to Grumpy Old Gramps' house. Grumpy Old Gramps was a an old rabbit. Um, he, uh, you know, was... Uh, Peter Cottontail's neighbor, and he said, and so Grumpy Old Gramps, he was very grumpy, but when, but uh, even though when he saw Peter Cottontail, that rosy cheeks and twinkly eyes, well, um, he knew that, uh, um, or his heart was softened a bit, so on this particular day, when Peter came hippy hopping down the road, uh, he said, uh, Peter, uh, could I, um, or do you want me to, uh, uh, here's all my money for, uh, candy bar fun raiders for the, you know, junior woodchucks. And Peter said, oh, well, gee willikers, grumpy old gramp. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not doing one of those candy bar fun raisers for the junior woodchucks. And so, grumpy old gramps, like I said, Rosy cheeks rabbit. He just he softened his heart. He said, "Okay, get, uh, here's all my money anyway." So now, uh, Peter Cottontail was now pretty rich. He was, yeah, okay. This he was filthy rich, but he had like a million dollars. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So he paid the government to have it be his birthday. Uh, well, um, his birthday became what we now know as Easter. Well, maybe some people don't celebrate Easter, and that's fine, but for people who do, that is what we now call Easter. Uh, but yeah, so he said, and so the government, well, I mean, who can turn down one million dollars? So they let him have his birthday. So what, what he wanted for his birthday... He wanted, uh, chocolate cake. Uh, yeah, maybe not what I'd go for my birthday, but, yeah, he really wanted that chocolate cake. So he said to his dad, oh, uh, gee willikers, daddy, could you get me some chocolate cake for my birthday? And his dad, who, uh, all the same, couldn't resist the, uh, rosy treat, rosy cheek. Um, boy said, oh, yeah, I'll get you some chocolate cake. And so, uh, you know, he gave him chocolate. He, uh, went to the store and, uh, and he just, um, sort of looked for chocolate cake. Sorry, got a little lost there. Uh, but they didn't have any chocolate cake. Uh, so he, um, in with tears in his eyes he bought um vanilla cake and still with tears in his eyes he went home and he said peter caught oh, i'm really sorry peter but all they had was vanilla cake there was no chocolate cake now and peter said oh well that's okay uh, that, that's okay pops um well i can uh yeah yeah i'll, I'll I'll have vanilla cake, but behind that sweet little voice, there was rage. 
rage, for Peter wanted that chocolate cake. And so he said, well, okay, well, um, yeah. Uh, and so he scampered out of the door, uh, rage behind those twinkly eyes. Um, uh, but he didn't eat any vanilla cake, because he, um, really wanted chocolate cake. Uh, I have no idea why, but he wanted that chocolate cake. So, he was hopping down the road, and he saw Grumpy Old Gramps, and he said, uh, Grumpy Old Gramps, do you have any chocolate cake? And he was like, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, don't have any chocolate cake. And so, Peter said, and so Peter grew angrier still, and with, uh, and, and the twinkle disappeared from his eyes. His cheeks were a little less rosier, and he said, I said, Grumpy Old Gramps, uh, do you have any chocolate cake? And he said, and Grumpy Old Gramps said, oh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm really sorry, uh, I, I don't, um, but why don't you go ask the government? Maybe they have chocolate cake. <clears throat> and so Peter Cottontail said, okay, and the twinkle returned to his eyes and the cheek, his cheeks were rosy yet again. So yippity hoppity <coughs> hoppity over to the government and asked for chocolate cake. The government said, well, uh, we don't actually have chocolate cake. And so Peter was angry. And so hippity hoppity down to the road. Well, hippity, he hippity hoppity down the road. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, he, oh, he went hippity hoppity down the road for what he didn't know was that there was a chocolate cake shortage. And that is where we will leave off. Tune in to our podcast, and the next episode will be part two of Peter Cottontail, how he, become, he became the Easter Bunny. And he wants that chocolate cake. But, uh, yeah. Bye. See you next time.